So this is the sea level, this is the seabed where the pipes go. Distance between 80 to 100 meters. This is what the Hirsch theory claims. First a Norwegian Navy ship appears with Norwegian Secret Service on board. Then Norwegian combat divers dive down, precisely plant two bombs near the pipeline some 50 kilometers apart. Then these perpetrators uh, leave the crime scene and then a few months later a Navy chopper appears, Norwegian, sends an RC or audio signal, they're not sure which one, down to trigger the timers and then explosions happen on consecutive days. That's the theory. Here are the problems. 1. At 80 meters the conditions are dangerous. It's cold and pitch black. 2. Anything below 40 meters is not really Navy SEAL speciality. So private sector divers would be much better suited for anything like this. 3. In order to send RC or audio signals that deep, a huge ALF antenna would have been needed, much bigger than the chopper. 4. The whole scheme is just too darn difficult operationally. Bonus 5. Let's not forget that Norway is a highly developed democracy with one of the highest ranked press freedom indexes in the whole world. Involving Norway makes no sense whatsoever. So my verdict is that the Hirsch theory is not plausible because it fails at oper operational complexity. It's much more plausible to think that Russians did it from, the, from their Kaliningrad navy base, which is right there. And they did it with a small submarine. If you want to read my full thread on this, look for one written on February 10th, 2023. Over and out, suckers!